standard cell potential E0 cell. In galvanic cell, the electron always flow from anode to cathode. But why do electron flow spontaneously from anode to cathode? We can compare the electron flow with the flow of water in a waterfall. At the top of the waterfall is high potential energy and at the bottom of the waterfall is the low potential energy. So, air mengalir secara spontan daripada atas ke bawah disebabkan oleh the difference in potential energy between the top of the falls and the bottom. Sama lah juga dengan elektron. Elektron ni dia akan flow secara spontan daripada anode kepada cathode disebabkan oleh difference in potential energy, perbezaan potential energy. Potential energy of electron adalah lebih tinggi di kawasan anode berbanding di kawasan cathode. So, electron tu dia akan flow secara spontan ke arah elektrod yang lebih positif nilainya. Kita dah belajar sebelum ni poor red cat. So, kalau elektrod tu dia more positif, so dia undergo reduction, so dia cathode. So, that's why lah elektron dia flow daripada anode kepada cathode. The potential difference between the two electrodes of a galvanic cell is called as cell potential. The symbol is E cell. Oleh kerana potential difference ataupun perbezaan potential antara dua elektrod ni menyebabkan pengaliran elektron, so kita boleh juga panggil E cell ni sebagai electromotive force ataupun EMF. Elektromotif ni maksudnya adalah causing electron motion, menyebabkan pergerakan elektron. If the cell potential E cell is measured under standard conditions which is 25 degree Celsius, 1 molar and 1 atm, the cell potential is called as standard cell potential, the symbol is E not cell or we also can call as standard EMF. Formula for calculation of standard cell potential E0 cell is E0 cell equal to E0 cathode minus E0 anode. E0 cell is standard cell potential or standard EMF. E0 cathode is standard reduction potential for cathode. E0 anode is standard reduction potential for anode. The unit for E0 cell is volt. Actually, semua unit E0 cell, E0 cathode dan E0 anode di sini semuanya berunit volt. Example 1. Standard reduction potential for zinc 2 plus zinc and copper 2 plus copper are negative 0.76 volt and positive 0.34 volt respectively. Calculate the standard cell potential. Standard cell potential is E0 cell. The formula is E0 cell equal to E0 cathode minus E0 anode. So, kita perlu tahu berapa nilai E0 cathode dan berapa nilai E0 anode. So, untuk mengetahui nilai ni, kita kena determine dulu siapakah anode dan siapakah cathode. Saya dah terang dalam video sebelum ni, untuk determine anode dan cathode ada tiga cara. Standard reduction potential, overall equation dan juga cell notation. Since soalan bagi dekat kita nilai standard reduction potential, so kita akan guna cara yang pertama iaitu poor red cap. Negative 0.76 adalah E0 reduction untuk zinc, positive 0.34 adalah E0 reduction untuk copper. So, yang more positif, dia akan undergo reduction dan dia akan menjadi cathode. So, yang more negatif akan menjadi anode. So, now kita dah tahu E0 cathode is positive 0.34 volt, E0 anode is negative 0.76 volt. So, kita pergi kepada step yang kedua iaitu kita akan calculate E0 cell. So, masukkan nilai E0 cathode dan E0 anode. So, kita calculate, kita dapati the E0 cell is positive 1.1 and the unit is volt. Thank you for watching.